But this one. God damn it, where do I live? Hello, 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 and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline. Sorry if you can hear the tram going by in the background. I live right next to the tram stop. Um, in the last part, we rescued that Professor Bach figure, character, person, who told us all about how to um, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. And I was told, instead of going right back to LaCroix after that episode, that we should go check on Heather and that we should also say goodbye to Heather or send her away from our service or things will end badly for her and I don't want that to happen. However, I will, I am planning on once this series is finished, which I know I am near the end of the game, is we are going to have a nice funny little uh, blooper reel of Fugly doing everything wrong, wronger than I did it even, and uh, we'll see some, we'll see what happens to Heather if you don't send her away. But let's go ahead uh, woo and head to our hub in Hollywood, I think is where it is. Okay, so here I am back in the wee vampire hideout. Ah, and I have no idea where, where my haven supposedly is supposed to be. Oh, this is some stuff that I dropped. That's still here, funnily enough, but I don't need it. It's just taking up space. And this is where what's-her-face is, right? Uh, Imani, or whatever her name is. Don't want to go in there. What about this one? No? Where's my apartment? I want one too. But this one? No, this is uh, Mitnick's place, who's not in here for some reason. But this one? God damn it, where do I live? Okay, so I actually had to look it up because I couldn't find it friggin' anywhere. And apparently it's not even anywhere near the Nosferatu hideout or whatever. It's supposedly this place. And it is! Look! It's downtown! It's not even in Hollywood. Open the door. Oh, but it's awesome! Look how awesome it is! This is great! Let's check our email. I haven't done that in forever. Probably don't have anything, but let's check it anyway. Oh, I have Sunrise, right? Yeah, that was it. Um, I don't think I have any. Let's see. The Muse's Muse, 13. Oh, and I do hope the knights have... Who is this from? That's from Vivi. Have been kind. You are on my mind tonight, and I must admit it was inspiring. I wrote this for you. Death cannot smother love. Dead hearts are not always broken. Plant a kiss on my corpse. Love blossoms. Did you love it, Vivi? I did love it, Vivi. A friend. The White Bishop Falls. Uh, I assume that means Kuhnfeldbach. Your bloody Valentine. Again, Vivi? Really? It felt so liberating to open up to you in the last email, so I dip my pen in my soul again to write another for you. Father, I never knew you. Mother, I ran away from you. Sire, you forgot me. But lover, you are forever in my heart. Think my looks will stop me from being taken seriously as a poet? Vivi. She is so into Fugly. That is awesome. Fugly deserves it quit. But we haven't- no. I had that button by accident. Oh, and a TV! Turn the TV on! No! Turn the TV on! TV on! No TV. But we have another lady love in our life. I'll take that. Thank you. Um, Heather. Hi! I dream this afternoon. You were in it. You were stroking my hair, telling me you loved me. And then, in the next instant, you were gone. And I was alone, and I cried out for you, but you wouldn't answer. <sighs> You're here now. I have never felt more relieved. Also, sorry if you can hear the bells in the background. I don't only live to it next to a tram stop. I also live next to two huge, loud churches. Um, I want to tell her to depart, but I'm just going to say I would never leave you, dearest Heather. <sighs> You're so kind to me. Thanks. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you. I, I got something for you. Here, it should fit you. I hope you like it. I thought it looked like something you'd wear. Thank you. It's wonderful. Think of me when you wear it. I will. Um, sure, I've got... I'm gonna say... Before I go, do you think you... Oh. No, I don't need any, actually. Well, maybe a little bit. Just, just a touch. But I actually need to talk to her, so... 
didn't want to do that. Now I'm going to have to wait around for her to wake up again. Ooh, radio. Something Turn the radio on. Ooh, a bathroom. I don't need this, though. But there's something here. A pill bottle. I can sell that for stuff. Well, while we wait for her to wake up or whatever, let's, um... No, what's the button? Oh, and I took a picture for no reason. What's this one? This one. It looks exactly like my other one. <laughs> and it just makes me lose two dexterity, but I gain four armor. Right? No. Buttons are hard. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much just like that. Alright, I thought it would be a different armor, but that's fine. Come on, Heather, wake up. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have fed on you. Oh, thank God. Heather. Master? Oh, crap. I can't send her away? God damn it! Okay, so because I'm not super um, begeistered about- ugh, not begeistered, sorry, uh, thrilled about that outfit. It, it's not- I mean, I, it's got a better rating or whatever, and- but I'd rather send Heather away than get this armor that makes me look like a Mexican wrestler. Um, I'm afraid, Heather, that we really do have to part. I can't ruin your life anymore. But I- this is my final request of you. Do as I say. Live a long, happy life for me. You don't mean it! I- I do. This life is dangerous. You'll end up dead. I won't let that happen. Farewell. <laughs> I'll leave. Okay? But if you ever change your mind... Then I'll find you, I promise. Sure. Alright. I'll, um... Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Okay, now that Heather is gone and I've got a few extra blood packs in my inventory, I think I am ready to go ahead and talk to LaCroix. And since I'm already in downtown, that makes it super convenient. I just gotta get to his office, which I'm practically there. Oh god, wrong buttons. Wrong buttons all the time. Um, there a dead guy here. Why there a dead guy here? That's not good. I'm stuck on the dead guy. Get in the elevator, Fugly, and go to the penthouse, like you're supposed to. Why there a dead guy down there? Hi. With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. Mm-hmm. Who did this? <laughs> Someone made a mess downstairs. The Sabat. A pack of shovelheads oh. with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabat animals. Uh, why did the Sabat attack? Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient. Their most coveted feasts. Diablerists. Diablerists? The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablerie. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred. Ugh. Especially older ones. Until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla. This is an act punishable by death. The For the moment, we've so manipulated cool. the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent... I'm sure you can guess my course of action. I understand. Hey, you lazy sheriff, go wipe out the Sabbat. <laughs> you want me to take on the Sabbat by myself? Have your gorilla do it. You want me to wipe out the Sabbat? It would be my pleasure. I'll say the first one. He has to remain here in case of further attack, and also to guard the sarcophagus. For this emergency, I need someone with your nerve to guarantee success. The Sabbat have been a threat to both of us for far too long. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Fine. I'll risk my life for no less than a large heap of cash. A mercenary attitude won't get you far in this organization. <laughs> but if that's what it takes in this situation... You're such a douchebag guy. Agreed. Where are the they? The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel. Right under our noses here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go... Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? 
Before I tell you anything, I want what's coming to me. Take your money. Tell me. <laughs> Take your money. What have you learned? The missing crate from the Dane. It's a key to the sarcophagus. A key? Where? Do you have it? God, calm down. No, that's all I know, but I have other good news. Bach is dead. <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you, and to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. Any hunters that cross my path are dead. Same goes for the Sabbat. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. Kay. And another thing. You've been attracting a lot of attention to yourself. Mortal attention. But I'm going to overlook it for now. But keep breaking the masquerade, and I guarantee you'll never break it again. It was once, and it was an accident. All right, it was just some homeless woman who saw me. If I could take it back, I could. I would, I mean, but I can't, so get over it. <laughs>